So let's look at changing a recurring decimal is after the comma it's got more than one number repeating itself. So let's just add a number like zero comma one two one one two one two this recurring itself. So again as I explained what we're going to try and do is move this comma so so that a recurring number one two appears on the left hand side of the comma. So what do I what will I have to multiply with later? A hundred. I need to, to move it two spaces. So it's going to be a hundred. So first I'm going to start by saying okay, let's just make our x equal to our original. Zero comma one two one two one two recurring. Now I'm going to multiply with a hundred so that I can move my comma one space, two spaces. So a hundred times x, hundred times x is then equal to on this side it moves two spaces. So now I get one, two, twelve, comma, one, two, one, two, and this repeats itself. So what I want to do is I want to get x on its own again. And I do that by eliminating this recurring decimal on the top and on the bottom. Here. So I'm going to subtract it from one another again. So I'm going to say 100x minus x, which gives me? So 100x minus x gives me 99x. And on this side, I get 12, 12 minus 0. 12, and on this side I get 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is going to go on. I'm going to get 12 comma 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And again, x was equal to 0 comma 1, 2, 1, 2. So in this case, what I have here. I want to get x alone again. And you can see this time I've got no commas anymore. Those zeros I can leave out. So I get, what will I have to do here to get x on its own? Divide by 99. So on both sides I divide by 99. On this side I get x. And on that side I get 12 over 99. We can actually go on, we can go simplify this somewhat. 12 over 99. What number do you know goes into 12 and into 99? Three. Three can divide into 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4. And into 99? 33 times. So if they ask you to give your answer as a simplified fraction, you'll have to do that as well. See what number goes into the numerator and into the denominator. Let's just check our answer again. 4 divided by 33. What answer do you get? And to show the number repeating, if it's more than one digit, you can put a bar on top of that, the, the portion that's repeating itself. Or you can also put two dots, a dot where it starts and a dot where it ends. You guys get it? Cool. It's time for you to practice.